So we've had some massive, massive, massive news in the supercar paddock as of late. Uh, it's probably the biggest news we've had in a, quite a long time, perhaps a decade even. Um, Toyota is officially joining the Supercars Championship in 2026. They'll be running the Supra model and they'll be teaming up with Walk Shore and Ready United as a factory squad. And it's going to be awesome. Um, the render looks fantastic. They released a render today. Uh, yesterday, it was r heavily rumored, um, but 24 hours later, it was announced fully. Um, but also, they do have intentions of maybe getting another team as well as Walk Shore to, rep to, to race with Toyota. So maybe we could potentially see a brand new team, which means a larger grid, or we could see maybe Team 18, for example, um, take over from Camaros to Toyotas, maybe, who knows. But uh, the Japanese squad want four cars in total for 2026. But uh, let's have a quick look at some information and stuff that we know regarding the Toyota. So before we get underway, of course, if you, if you uh, like supercars, be sure to hit the like and subscribe for more supercar content. Check out our website, ltmosport.com. And we've also recently uploaded our Sandown podcast, so feel free to check that out now as well. The link will be in the description below. But with that being said, let's dive straight into the news today. So the GR Supras are set to compete with a 5-litre version of Toyota's 2UR GSE all-aluminium quad cam V8, which is used in the Lexus GT3 car. Now, of course, when the Supra was announced or rumoured, uh, a lot of questions were regarding what sort of engine it would have. People were, some people I, I know were worried that, you know, they'll be you know, using I6 and, you know, the V8 formula will die. That's not the case. They'll be running a V8 as they should. Um, so the V8 certainly not going anywhere, which is why supercars need to change to V8 supercars. You know, you know what to do. Everyone says it. Anyway, um, so this is basically, uh, this is what Sean Healy from uh, the Toyota Australia Vice President Sales, Marketing and Franchise Operations had to say about the the deal. Um, at Toyota, we have been toying, Toyota, uh, toying with the idea of competing in supercars for more than 20 years. And now with the right car, the right team, and a strong partnership with the Repco Supercars Championship, the time is definitely right, Hanley said. And this is a truly historic moment and he goes on to say that his our GR brand and performance cars were built on the knowledge that we gain from participating in top-level motorsport and our entry into Supercars Championship will cement that connection and give us the opportunity to showcase Toyota Gazoo Racing excitement to a wide audience of passionate fans. And um, it's such a incredible thing. I, I'm, I love Toyota. Um, I think the Supra is fantastic. Uh, I've always loved it growing up. And of course, NASCAR actually use it as well. They use the Camry in the Cup, but uh, in the Xfinity series, they use the Supra. And also, this is it's a fantastic choice that uh, Walk and Shore and Ready United uh, will be the ones to run the squad. Of course, this is the first time being a factory squad since HRT, uh, the Holden Racing Team. And I think they'll do a fantastic job um, being responsible to homologate the car. I can't say that word, forgive me. Um, but uh, I think the reason why it makes sense is because they have uh, a, a, an academy and they've got a driver in the Toyota 86 series, which is, um, you know, it's such an incredible series if you haven't seen it yet. We did make a video uh, months ago. I will link it down in the description as well to, uh, that we just discussed about it because it's a brand new uh well, in a way, it's it's an old series, but it's a brand new um, series this year with a brand new car, essentially. Uh, and they look incredible. And the racing we've seen is sensational. And Walker Shore and Ready United's uh, driver that they've got named Matt Hiller, um, he's been doing a really, really good job. And I love what uh, Walker and Shore have been doing with the Toyota brand to promote that. Into it's it's starting to turn into the proper feeder category that the 86 series is known as so it's it's a fantastic opportunity and i think the idea of having toyota join supercars as well according to shane i think shane howard i think that's his name the ceo of supercars um he said that years ago when the gr86 like they they had the idea of having a someone 
who comes from uh, the 86 series, wins the championship, comes to supercars and wins a championship for Toyota. Um, that that would be an incredible story. And it just show it would just show how incredible the 86 series is as well. And they'll probably hopefully get more attention as the supercar category because uh, we have seen a bit how, how chaotic the Super 2 category is. Uh, and I've got to say the group, the 86 series is a lot cleaner, um, as well. So a lot cheaper, not to mention, but, uh, it's, it, no, this is a really fantastic, uh, moment for supercars and its history. Of course, it's been long, long, long rumored, um, for many years now that Toyota will join and Kia will join and BMW will join, but at least we now know it's official that Toyota will at least join supercars. What do you think of this news? Is it uh, you were a fan of the car? Are you, you happy with the choice of car? Are you happy with the cam uh, the Supra? Or would you prefer the Camry like NASCAR? But uh, it'll be very interesting to hear your thoughts. Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more supercar related content. We also cover Formula One, MotoGP, IndyCar, NASCAR, you name it. And uh, be sure to check out our website, ltmotorsport.com, for all your latest motorsport news. Bye for now. He's, he's too gentle for a NASCAR gentle. level. Yes. Uh, we saw that in Coda with Austin they're... Butler, but he had yeah. Austin Butler. That's an actor. What are we doing? Austin <laughs> Hill, Austin not Butler. Elvis Presley. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> that, was... that was good. <laughs> One more time. I can't do it. No, no, it's no, smart. Oh, very, very good spoken. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> but um, not doing that again. But uh, yeah, Austin <laughs> Hill. Um, he had a big, he had a big battle with him <laughs> yeah. and Coda and pushed him off. So Gizzy was actually quite angry, apparently, um, after this race as well. I would be too. So, lost the last lap. You know, just use that for fuel for the next one.